at any given moment, if you've got enough money, in every single town or cities, you can buy as much of any type of drug. There will never be a shortage. Now, just imagine, what kind of a supply system does that require? Do you understand how much cargo of drugs has to be coming into this country continually? all the time to make sure that each drug in its exact quantity that's needed in each city in each town of this country is delivered to that city on time so that there's never a shortage. Law enforcement officials found 22 tons of pure cocaine. Now that has a street value of 22 billion dollars, not million, billion, spelled with a B. According to proper procedures, it should have been burned, destroyed. However, there was no record of its destruction. There was no record of its ever having left the property department. And I hope you understand that that's just one city. It is not Los Angeles. I know that if you try to trace those bags of cocaine, you won't find them. They go right back out onto the street, right through the police department as if it's got holes in it. Pretty hard for somebody to burn 22 tons of cocaine, but that's not the reason why it wasn't burned. To get that much drugs into this country so that every little city in town in this entire country is supplied with drugs it takes much more than any Colombian drug lord could ever handle. And there's no Colombian drug lord that has anywhere near the amount of money that would be required to perform a logistics operation of that magnitude. But the drugs are being brought into this country by the military and the intelligence community. And the way they get through customs officials and by law enforcement officers is that they are classified cargoes, secret cargoes, top secret cargoes. No one could look at them unless they had the clearance. Much of the drugs are flown in to places like Edwards Air Force Base, California. There's a place in Arizona, which is a CIA proprietary airfield. There's a place in Florida, Homestead Air Force Base, and many, many others. There are tunnels going underneath the Mexican border. The Mexicans didn't dig those tunnels. No, these are smooth operations. No one ever gets caught in a drug war except users. Have you ever noticed that? Our small time operators with real small cargoes. And any time a huge, tremendous cargo is ever caught, like the 22 tons in Silmar, no one is ever arrested, and the drugs always conveniently disappear right back out on the street. This accomplishes three things. Drug addiction is a form of euphemistic slavery. They are no danger to the ruling class, to the elite, or to anyone else. They are, in fact, slaves to their addiction, and they can be controlled by making the substance of their addiction available or not available, cheap or expensive, and they can be manipulated, they can be made to create crime, or they can be made docile as little lambs. And number three, it scares the living daylights out of the middle class because they have a little more than everybody else. So they scream for protection. In the latest poll, folks, they were asked, would you be willing to give up some of your constitutional rights in order to get the drugs and crime off the streets? And guess what the answer was? The answer was yes. Yes. Please take the drugs and crime off the streets. We will give up whatever we have to give up. We are all being manipulated and used like puppets.